Good morning. I'm Monica Mohindra here at the Veterans History Project at the Library of Congress. And I'm so pleased to be here today to congratulate Representative Blake Moore of Utah joining us to contribute interviews to the Library of Congress. VHP donation ceremonies represent an enormity of hard work and community project cultivation like we're witnessing here today. Members of Congress are uniquely positioned to reach veterans and the stories they've brought here today may touch the lives of hundreds, if not thousands, of library users and those in their communities. But regardless of how many stories you bring us, our nation deeply appreciates the time, talent, effort, sweat, and tears you and your staff have devoted to collecting veteran stories. And we aren't the only ones who will appreciate them. Generations from today to those to come throughout posterity will benefit from hearing firsthand the stories of these veterans' experiences, their lived experience through their service to the United States. These veteran stories will join the 1,052 Utahns who have helped us better understand veterans' experiences. They inspire future generations who look to the Library of Congress for insight into the lives of friends, families, community leaders in their own areas, all who served in uniform. Thank you, Representative Blake Moore, for joining us today with these important interviews. Thank you, Director Mahindra. Um, you, exa you, you, you have perfectly explained why this project is so important. Um, you talk about the generational awareness that this creates and what this means to our communities. To me, it's been a, a, even a little more personal. I wish I had this for my grandpa. He served in World War II, and I heard him tell a few stories. We have a scrapbook, but to have, to have had a video you know, embedded into the Library of Congress would have been something very special for our family. And this is creating an opportunity to make sure that we do better than that and that we're able to get this. So we're, we're thrilled as an office. My team has worked incredibly hard on this. Um, and as I look back on it, I think about uh, Major Brent Taylor and his wife, Jenny Taylor. They're, she, they're a Gold Star family. He was, he was killed in Afghanistan. Uh, he's a mayor of North Ogden at that time as well. A very special individual for our community. Um, Jenny Taylor does so many amazing things and I had the opportunity to interview her. It's a highlight for me in my, in my time here. Uh, I got to interview my dad, uh, which was neat. So that was the part of you know, not being able to fulfill for my grandpa, but my kids are gonna be able to hear their dad's story uh, about his involvement. He was never deployed during Vietnam. He's always felt that there was a, you know, he didn't ever do as much as some of his friends who were deployed and who he even lost. But it was a good chance for him to recognize that you know, we care about service and service alone. And uh, this is an opportunity for any veteran to be able to tell their story. So thank you for the uh, Library of Congress for the work that you all do to make this, make this possible. Uh, last piece I'll add is a really unique aspect of our, our work that we've done in Northern Utah in, in, in engaging with uh, uh, high school aged kids that are learning how to do audio visual work in their, in their curriculum. And they are the ones that set the stage set the microphones, got us a, a, a studio to use, and while doing it, they heard over 60 plus stories from veterans, right? So this is what it is about community and sharing this message out. That's the point of this, is so we can actually sort of force multiply one individual story to countless people. And uh, the community came together. We had, it, we had people interviewing from communications degrees at Weber State, right, in our, in our own communicate. The, the person that, uh, it chairs my debt and deficit task force. His wife loved this project and she started doing interviews. So this is a really neat thing. And uh, we wanted to just present to you with my colleague, Anthony here, who led the effort from our team, who had the vision for this and who has created, um, not, that it's a, not that it's a competition, but we think our office is probably hitting above our weight on how many we've done and we're gonna keep doing more. So we wanted to present you with these uh, recordings for the Veterans History Project and just thank you for your effort to give us a chance to do this. <laughs> 